please welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my loves. Let's get into the love readings. Happy Valentine's to all of you lovebirds out there. For those of you guys that are single, I hope you treated yourself. I hope you took yourself out and gave yourself all the grander, splendor things that you usually do for a partner. Why? Because it's important to love ourselves and put ourselves first, okay? All righty, let's get into it. Let's see what your sign can expect in regards to love and romance for the remaining of February 2024. Spirit guides, ancestors, ascendant masters, please step forward. Allow us to see, hear, sense, you and receive the messages loud and clearly. Let's see what's going on with all of you guys out there. Hope you guys don't mind. I just came from, you know, and the air was blowing. <laughs> Anyways. Let's get into it. We're going to begin here with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see. Uh, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. How they see you. We have the Hierophant. So they are definitely looking towards some type of commitment. They are most definitely seeing you as a high-valued person, someone that is worthy of getting to know. Your next card, Eight of Pentacles, how they feel about you. I see them progressing. Their feelings for you are getting a little bit deeper for some of you guys. If this is a brand new person, it definitely has the potential for something long-term. For those of you guys that are just recently dealing with this person, they may not come off extremely open about, you know, about how they feel about you, but they are definitely keeping a very close eye on you. They are definitely interested and they are willing to put in the effort how they will react or their future actions towards you. It is the strength card. So again, I feel like there is a possibility, Those for those of you guys that haven't been physical, there is a strong desire, very, very powerful physical attraction. But because the Eight of Pentacles is here and the Hierophant, it does speak for those of you guys that, let's say if you're dealing with someone that became something casual or it started off as something casual, it does have the potential for something long-term. So you may actually be surprised that it actually turns into something, you guys. Let's see for those of you guys that are wanting to know about your past flame, how they feel about you. We have temperance here. So they are still kind of, they're still, they're still going through it. They still definitely have feelings for you here, Aquarius. Now, why they feel this way, the Knight of Cups, I feel for some of you guys, you may still be dealing with an ex or perhaps there's still kind of open communication. They are definitely hoping that there may be some type of possibility of rekindling this connection. If there isn't a connection, meaning there's no communication at the moment, I do see them being in their feelings about it. And I'm going to be honest, we have the devil card here. So the devil could represent that they their future actions may be as an example, if you're not communicating with them right now, don't be surprised if you get a phone call and they're a little bit buzzed or they're a little bit drunk because I do see them being very impulsive only because that, you know, the their inhibitions are down. And I feel like it has more to do with like maybe a little bit tipsy. Maybe they've been drinking. Maybe they've been talking about you with friends. And it just, it's an impulse that they reach out, Okay. Uh, for others of you, if there is communication, I feel like this person, you know, they're they're not necessarily being completely open about their intentions. So if you're dealing with an ex and you don't really know where they stand right now, they are they are in their feelings about you. They haven't gotten over you. So there is a possibility of rekindling. But with this devil card here, make sure to not allow it to get only into the physical. So what I mean by that is if you're dealing with an ex-partner, don't take it physical because it will remain in that energy, okay? So I don't want them leading you on or stringing you along Aquarius. All right, let's move it. Let's keep it pushing here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All righty, here we go. All right, Pisces, your first card here is the Queen of Swords. How they see you. If you're dealing with someone new or recently, you're dealing with someone. Um, Queen of Swords does indicate that they have a very watchful eye on you. This is a person that is very methodical, meaning 
that they don't jump into relationships very easily. I feel like this is a person that could potentially see potential in you, but I feel like they are more reserved about their emotions. This is definitely giving me a vibe of a person that could be shield, meaning that they are a bit protective of their heart or their emotions. They don't get into situationships and I feel like they're still kind of feeling you out. Now, the next card here is the five of wands. So in regards to how they feel about you, five of wands, this you may be dealing with someone that is either gets a lot of attention or a person that may be dealing with multiple people or they may be talking to multiple people. Again, queen of swords, definitely an energy of a person that um, doesn't give me the, the player vibe. It's more of they like to look for a partner that that meets well with them, that meshes well. So this is a person that definitely has options, but again, because it came up as a queen of swords for you in regards to how they see you out of the bunch or whoever they're dealing with, they definitely have their eye on you. They're hoping that it can progress into something, okay? Um, so don't get discouraged there. Now with the two of pentacles and their future actions, I feel like, again, they are, it, it's kind of like they're not, in it 100%, but I feel like it has more to do with maybe you've overshared or maybe for some of you guys, they know kind of like your reputation for others. It could be that they're just being very, very practical. They want to make sure that you are, that you are worth the weight. Okay. is what I'm hearing. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with the person that has multiple options. However, um, I don't feel like they're hiding that. So for some of you guys or the majority, you could be dealing with someone that it's nothing like serious right now, but you're definitely interested in them and they're definitely interested in you. However, I feel that out of the opportunities they may have, they, their eye is definitely on you, Pisces. But again, I feel like there is, it's kind of still up in the air. Two of Pentacles indicates to me they're still not 100% sure if they want to move forward into making it something more, more serious, um, perhaps because the two of pentacles does speak about imbalance here for some of you guys, it could be that maybe they feel like you don't have it all together, or maybe they feel like you haven't completely moved on from someone. So just be, just be mindful of that. But however, I do see it progressing. So, uh, hopefully it, um, the energy can shift. Okay. Moving on, let's go into your old flame. Old flame, you have the star card here, and this is how they feel about you. So the star card definitely does indicate there are still feelings there. I feel like right now, uh, especially if the person you were dealing with is Aquarius or has Aquarius placements, um, this is a person that does think of you that obviously still kind of sees you. What I'm hearing is um, ask the one that got away. Okay. Now, in regards to why they feel this way, the Three of Swords, perhaps some of you guys were dealing with someone that betrayed you, cheated on you, stepped out of the relationship for others of you. It could have been a situation where they felt like there is remorse, there is a feeling of they let themselves down by walking away from your relationship or your connection. There is definitely some type of guilt here with the Three of Swords. Their future actions is the Ace of Wands. So if you were dealing with someone that stepped out of the relationship or you guys came to an end um, and there's no contact right now, I feel like the it could be the transit that we're experiencing right now with Pluto and Aquarius. Um, but there is something that is heightened here in regards to a wanting to undo it. And though there's been pain and hurt behind the situation for some of you guys, maybe you're still getting through that loss. Um, it does speak about the desire of wanting to connect with you. And I do see them reaching out to you. So again, I feel like the ball is going to be in your court, Pisces. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on here with Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Aries. Your first card is the Ten of Pentacles. So they're definitely seeing, they're seeing it long-term. 
uh, if you guys are recently or just recently started dealing with someone, I feel like the attraction, all the qualities that you possess is definitely something that they've been looking for in a partner. Um, with the 10 of pentacles, it's like, it has the potential for something, uh, for something stable. Now, in regards to how they feel about you, we have the nine of wands here. So for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a person that perhaps wanted um, to give it a go for a while. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you just recently started dealing with someone that perhaps is recently coming out of a relationship. If that's your case and that's your scenario, I would highly advise you guys to take it slow. Do not rush into anything. Um, don't move it along physical very quickly, only because I feel like there may be a potential here where someone gets hurt. And I feel like it has more to do with you because if they are coming out of a relationship, they're not completely healed. They're not completely over that. So you don't want to put yourself in a situation ship, my loves. Now, when it comes to their future actions, we have the strength card here. So the strength card does indicate again, like I said, if you're dealing with someone that you know for a fact is recently coming out of a relationship, don't rush into it. Don't make it physical because I feel like they're more like seeking a rebound. Now, for those of you guys that are dealing with someone that, you know, has been single for a while, what they're telling me here is that it's very important through this process of getting to know each other to really open yourself up. Don't be so guarded, okay, Aries, if it's a new person. And it's a person that's been single for a bit. Do not be so guarded because I feel like there is this desire, this want to get to know you better. There is major potential here. Um, but the downside is if you are a bit too guarded, this person may fall falter back into their ego and they may push back. So it's kind of like giving me the energy of, okay, well, not sure where you're at. So I'm just going to step back and start playing a little bit of mind games just to see if I can, you know, throw the bait and, and get you hooked. So just be cautious of, of that. Don't be so guarded, my loves. When it comes to relationships, we've all been through difficulty, right? So just remember, uh, sometimes we build a wall so high and we expect people to, you know, literally climb over it without really understanding that they may also have came out of something difficult and sometimes they're just not up for it. And it's not that you're not worthy or that you don't deserve for them to put that effort. But sometimes people on the other you know, side of the coin, they could have gone through a difficulty situation or through hardships when it comes to relationships. And it's difficult for them to bring that wall down as well. So again, you guys kind of have to meet halfway, you guys, okay? All right, Aries. Now, when it comes to Old Flame, we have the page of swords here. So there is definitely an ex that is looking at you. They're definitely stalking you. For some of you guys, they're watching you through social media. We have the full card here in regards to why this person was literally, this person was a fool. This person didn't appreciate you. And I feel like there is a hopefulness of wanting to rekindle something. However, I feel them more like on the watching scope, um, so it could be that they're keeping tabs on you. It could be that they, if you get random phone calls that are like blocked or unknown, it's definitely them. Um, if you've been going through that, this serve this as a validation, it's definitely them. I feel like they just don't have, or they haven't had the courage yet to communicate with you. Now, when we talk about their future actions, we do have the three of wands here. So I do feel them reaching out at some point. I feel more so at the end of this month, if not the beginning of March, there will be some type of contact, but I feel like as if right now, they are still uh, a little bit in their head about the situation and haven't really decided to take action or to move forward in contacting you. All right, moving along here. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with you, Taurus, out there. All right, here we go. In regards to new love, how they see you, Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is definitely willing to put in the effort. They are excited about this new connection. If you guys are not dealing with anyone, Taurus, there is definitely someone that's coming towards you or that will be revealing to you that they are interested in you. And I actually do see them actively pursuing you. So don't be surprised if someone out of woodwork comes out and confesses or professes their interest for you. I also see an invitation. So for some of you guys, it could be a random invitation. And when I say random, 
It could be someone that you potentially know, but you had no idea they were interested in you, okay? Now, in regards to how they feel about you, Queen of Wands, they are definitely interested in you. They are definitely, there's major like physical attraction here. I feel like you are ideal to them or definitely their type. Now, in regards to their future actions, King of Swords, so I do see them, again, professing. I do see them communicating or opening up about their interest for you. If you are currently dealing with someone right now, again, I feel like the attraction is definitely there. You guys are both definitely on the same page. King of Swords um, definitely indicates they are going to be brutally honest. So I feel like at some point in the end of this month or beginning of March, there's going to be a conversation that happens in regards to how you guys move along in this connection. All right. Let's um let's see what's going on with your old flame. Three cards for old flame. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I had already shuffled. Not sure why they made me shuffle again, but here we go. Old flame. All right, Taurus, you have the five of swords. There is definitely some type of remorse here. There is some, it's almost giving me the energy of like, they've been in their feelings lately and I feel like they've been constantly thinking about how they did you dirty or constantly thinking about how, where they effed up when it comes to you Taurus uh definitely now in regards to why they feel this way the knight of wands could have been dealing with a cheater could have been dealing with someone that had commitment issues someone that was very emotionally immature um yeah and I'm definitely seeing like there is a comparison that's happening. So I'm not sure if your ex is currently dealing with someone or if they are in a relationship, there is a constant reminder of how different you were to them in comparison to the person that they're currently with, Taurus. And their future actions, the magician card here. So I do feel like at some point, I feel it more towards March. I feel that there is some type of communication that opens up where they you will physically hear them say, um, like, I'm sorry what I put you through, or I'm sorry that, you know, I let you down, or I'm sorry that I fucked up, pretty much, plain and simple. Um, I feel like it's something that's been coming. So one thing I always tell you guys is when a relationship ends, no matter how horrible and how just unfairly they treated you, at the end of the day, everything it's, comes full circle. So even if it's been two years, even if it's been a year, even if it's been 10 years, at some point, there's going to be a realization on their part, right? The part, the part that did wrong, um, there is a realization that happens. And I feel like for you guys, it's it's coming full circle. So again, um, yeah. All right, let's see what's going on with Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Geminis. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All right, here we go, Gemini. Your first card here is the Page of Swords. So you guys could have met through social media for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single right now at this very moment. There could be a connection that happens and it could be through social media. It could be through a social media app. It could be through a dating app, something like that. But there is definitely a connection that comes through um, more so to do like on social media theme. Um, Ten of Swords, how they feel about you. Ten of Swords can indicate that you're currently dealing or you will be dealing with someone um, that could have potentially recently came out of a relationship now. If you are someone that has met someone online and you feel intuitively like they're not completely honest, the reason for it is because they haven't completely moved on. They're still hoping maybe that something can happen of rekindling with the past partner. So if you are dealing with someone, like I said, that you're intuitively feeling like they're not 100% like present, um, try the best you can to not necessarily... I mean, I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't waste my time. Um, but the advice here is don't, don't allow them too close to you until you feel like it's that energy is being reciprocated until you feel like they are open about it as well. Um, in regards to their dynamic in life. So what I mean by that is 
if you're bringing them around friends or if you're starting to bring them around friends and they still haven't like mentioned to you friends or uh, wanting to bring you around friends or whatnot, try the best you can to like pull a little bit back. And the reason I say that is, again, I feel like there's a rebound that's coming up. So if you are dealing with someone that is a bit sketchy, um, I would just keep it pushing. Now, in regards to future action, Six of Cups. So again, I feel like this person is still holding on to the past. They haven't completely moved on. Um, for others of you, okay, so for others of you, there is a specific message that's coming through. There was a person that you were dealing with at some point in 2023. And this connection didn't unfold the way you wished it did. And I feel like the reason for that was because they ended up going back to an ex-partner. Well, that's been done and it's been over with. And I feel that they are finally ready. Don't be surprised if they reach out to you. For others of you, it could be a person from the past that reaches out to you through social media that finds you or something like that. And they're wanting to revisit the past, meaning they're wanting to get another opportunity with you, okay? So take the messages, uh, what resonates. All right, in regards to your old flame, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So the Queen of Pentacles could indicate an earth energy, doesn't have to be. It could just be a person that perhaps was a bit more, a bit more emotionally evolved. Or for others of you, it could be a person that you felt uh, was a little bit selfish. Now, in regards to how they feel or why they feel this way, the Queen of Cups, you have two queens here. So what this is indicating to me is that the person from the past is currently in a relationship or dealing with someone, but they still haven't gotten over you. Um, Eight of Cups, there is remorse. There is a wanting to replay the past or wanting to revisit the past. If you guys are waiting for an ex or someone from your past and you're hoping that they'll reach out, they are. But my advice is be cautious because I feel like this person is just coming out of a relationship and you do not want to be a rebound. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Cancers. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these readings, like, share, and comment, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Cancer. All right, in regards to how they see you, King of Swords, they're definitely interested in you. I feel like you mentally intrigue them or you have them. There is definite a definite mental connection here that's happening. Um, in regards to how they feel about you, the Knight of Pentacles, this is definitely a person that is going to take their time getting to know you. It's almost giving me the vibes of, I think, Aries reading. For some of you guys, if you're dealing with an Aries, go back and listen to Aries. Um, yeah, this is a person that is definitely taking their time and getting to know you. But the Knight of Pentacles indicates to me slow and steady wins the race. So what does that mean? That means don't get frustrated if they're not moving as quickly as you would want. The reason why they do this is because they are very practical in their approach when it comes to dating. They are genuinely, genuinely the type that are going to take their time in getting to know you. So enjoy that ride uh, in regards to getting to know you, right? Um, now, what I am seeing here with the Knight of Pentacles also is that they could potentially... Um, they could potentially be keeping something from you, Cancer. What I mean by that, and the reason I'm saying that is because their future actions is the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles indicates to me something about their past that they're not being completely honest or they're kind of hiding. So if you're dealing with someone recently and it's a situationship, like the way they are explaining to you that their past relationship is, it, it's almost coming through like a situationship. So like the scenario of like, yeah, I'm married and we live in the same house, but we are separated. Like we're living separate lives. Don't fall for that if that's what they're telling you because it's bullshit. I'm gonna keep it 100. They're not being honest about that. I feel that that's the reason why they're also taking their time and like bringing you into their life because they kind of have to live, live in secret. Um, So just be, be cautious about that. 
Now for others of you, if you are recently dealing with someone, I feel like this person is really taking their time. And the reason for that is because they've been hurt in the past and they do not want to go through that again. So I feel like it's very important for them to deal with people that are completely transparent. So if you feel like this person is a bit guarded, try the best you can to be transparent with them, whatever your intentions are. Um, because I feel like they kind of want to have a feel for, you know, what can I expect from this type of connection? All right. In regards to your past uh, flame here, uh, Cancer, we have the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is definitely still still having feelings for you. They're still not over you, Cancer. The Two of Swords does indicate that they've pulled back or they've been a bit silent. For some of you guys, maybe they even blocked you. Um, but the reason for this is because I feel like they're not completely over you and they're really trying to get over you. Um, so if it's a situation for some of you guys, if it's a toxic situation, the type of situation where you break up, you go back, you break up, you go back. I feel that right now they're really trying to silence like the noise and they're trying to figure out, is this relationship worth revisiting or is it time to realize that we're both being toxic and we need to keep it pushing now the next card future actions is the star card so again i feel like if you are dealing or have been dealing with someone that has been a bit inconsistent or a bit toxic i feel like there is again there's a cutting of noise for some of you guys, it's a habit that they're letting go of because they don't like they want to have the opportunity to rekindle with you. So I do see them uh, reaching out or trying to contact you. I see it more towards the middle of March, but I do see contact happening here. All right, my loves, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, two cards for new love. I mean, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Leo. It's Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Leo, in regards to how they see you, the full card, they are definitely very, I feel like they are really attracted to your spontaneity, Leo. Um, I feel like you're embracing this energy more lately. And this is an indication of like, this person is genuinely falling for your energy. So what I mean by that is it gives me the energy when you start to fully embrace yourself and to have a blast, whatever it is that you're doing, you are comfortable in your own skin and you're just having the time of your life, wherever it is that you're going. Um, and they're really gravitating towards that type of energy. So I feel like it's kind of like um, the energy that it's giving me. It's like, you guys are... Uh, not necessarily the spontaneous type, but I see you guys like becoming more spontaneous or becoming more energetic. Like you, we all know you guys are the, the life of the party, but I feel you guys like really embracing like your childlike type of energy. And I feel like this person is really drawn to that energy. Um, there is definitely a lot of, a lot of like, emotionally and energetically, I feel like you guys are being pulled towards each other like magnets. And this is for those of you guys that are recently dealing with someone. Now, the next card in regards to how they feel about you, we have the four of swords. So the four of swords could indicate to me um, that for some of you guys, it could have been a situation where you guys were really like vibing with each other, really feeling each other. It felt amazing. And then all of a sudden it kind of like it halted or it came to a stop. Or for some of you guys, maybe there is no communication, like communication just completely dropped. Um, their future actions towards you is the tower. So the tower does indicate to me something. I feel like it has more to do with their life. So what I'm seeing is, it's kind of like them popping back into your life and you're like, what the hell, where you been? Or, you know, what happened? And they're really telling you this story of what they've been experiencing. And it's going to feel almost like unreal, but it's the truth. They are definitely telling you the truth. I feel like there was a major, major change and shift that happened in their life. That could have been the reason why they kind of didn't communicate or didn't know how to communicate because they were struggling. They were going through it. Um, but I feel for others of you, if you were dealing with someone and there's no contact, there's no communication, I feel like they're coming back around. And 
with the energy of the tower, it's giving me very much like something really major happened in their life recently. And I feel like this has made them, it's almost like when you become aware of how vulnerable or how human you are. And I don't mean you, I mean them. Um, so it's giving me very much the energy of realizing what really matters and they're coming back around because they are realizing that this connection or that you, Leo, um, really has touched them or really has transformed them in some type of way. What I'm hearing is, and I know I did this reading for new love, but I'm, what I'm reading is for some of you guys, an ex is coming through. And I feel that the reason why it's coming through is because you guys could have gone through a separation or some type of breakup. And it's almost a, it's like, after all, and after all the difficulty that you've been through, it's almost like they're coming back around and they're trying to do right by you. Um, Because there's like a sincere apology that's coming through. So again, it, this is going to connect with a lot of you guys in different ways, but uh, an ex is definitely coming through. Um, for others of you, it's like I said, I feel like if you were dealing with someone and everything was going amazing and then it stopped or there's no communication right now, I do see communication opening up, but I feel like it's, it's going to come at... It's going to come with them being honest to you about where they're at at this point in their life. And I see you guys kind of hesitating. Um, just remember, it is not your job to put people together. Um, if they are trying to emotionally rely on you to put them together, then that's their issue. And I wouldn't waste my time because the reason I'm saying this is because there is it's almost like realizing that, oh my God, Leo was there for me all this time and I don't know what to deal or how to deal. So let me reach out to them because they're going to make me feel better about my life in some way. And I feel like that's a major pressure that you don't deserve, Leo. All right, moving on in regards to Old Flame, we have the Ace of Wands. There is definitely still desire there to reach out or to want to communicate with you. Why do they feel this way? Four of Cups. They could have ended some type of connection or some type of relationship that they were dealing with that they're no longer dealing with. And that's the reason why they're trying to come back around. Seven of Wands is their future action. So I don't see them. I don't see them like if they're reaching out to you, I don't see them actually coming through. So I don't see them being consistent. Um Leo. So if the next pops out and it's someone that you still have feelings for, be cautious. You don't want to get emotionally involved if they're not going to be consistent or if they're not going to give you what you want. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Here we go, Virgo. In regards to how they see you, six of wands. So they are definitely very attracted to your achievements. Now, this could be a good thing. It can be a bad thing. Let's see what other cards come out. The next card here is the full card in regards to how they feel about you. Okay, interesting. In regards to their future actions, four of swords, exactly what I was. All right. So what they're showing me here, as soon as I seen the six of wands, six of wands is a person really admires you. They really like, they love everything about you, but it's more on a superficial level. In regards to how they feel about you, the full is an indication to me of a person that is emotionally immature. So this is someone that really gets attracted to either power, your reputation, what you have or what you can provide for them. In regards to their future actions, we have the four of swords. So my loves, if you guys are dealing with someone that is, you know, it's very much giving me uncomfortable vibes. It's kind of like the situation of dealing with someone that has the audacity of asking you like how much money you make or 
that tells you, um, you know, their issues, their struggles, and it's mostly monetary based um, to see if you are willing or wanting. And Virgo, you have a tendency of servitude, like don't fall for that type of shit. <laughs> Um, why? Because their future actions is the four of swords. It's very much giving me the energy of a person that sells you a dream, a person that um, really is not consistent, or a person that, um, you know, once they get what they want, they, they keep it pushing or they completely block you. Um, so again, be careful with that. If you are currently dealing with the person that's giving you that type of fucking vibe, keep it pushing. OK, there are certain things when first getting to know someone like you don't there are certain lines you don't cross. Um, You know, like they say, don't talk about politics, don't talk about it, There's a reason why they say that. And, you know, wanting to know your finances or wanting to know what it is that you do or if they know what you do and they're interested and, and they're asking you all these questions. It's not so much because they're interested. It has more to do with what you're capable of doing or how you're capable of helping them. And that's very much like a low life type of vibe. So keep it pushing. In regards to an ex-partner, we have the tower card here. So definitely they're still dealing with the separation or the breakup or the not dealing with you right now. Um, they're going through it. In regards to why they feel this way, the Ace of Wands, they've been wanting to reach out to you, Virgo, but I feel like they are intimidated or they feel like... For some of you guys, you ended on a really bad note. And there is a fear of rejection. There is a fear of what if, you know, they really don't, they completely like blocked me even um, in regards to their future actions, four of cups though. So again, when the tower shows up most of the time, especially when dealing with an ex, you know, it's done. And there is a reason why the universe showed you and pushed you into seeing the real the realness behind it. So again, don't entertain this person. I feel like it's a person that, yeah, they're dealing with the fact that they lost you. Um, they're probably aware that they fucked up, but it doesn't put them in a situation where they want to better themselves. It's more so like, you know, let, let me reach out. Ace of Wands is quick, uh, quick, humani la, 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 la. quick communication. However, as quickly as it comes, it goes four of uh, four of cups indicates, you know, uh, not much energy there. So they're not really going to come through with what they're telling you. So just be careful with that Virgo. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Libra, Libra, sun, moon, rising Venus. Let's see what's going on with Libras, Libra, sun, moon, rising Venus, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Let's see what's going on with Libras. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Here we go, Libra. In regards to how they see you, Eight of Pentacles. All right, so they are definitely interested in you. They definitely see that there is potential here. Uh, in regards to what they feel about you, Queen of Wands, there's definitely a desire. I feel like it's a lot of physical attraction. Could be both. Uh, it could be that they're really fascinated by your physical beauty. Um, in regards to their future actions, King of Wands, uh, you're definitely dealing with someone that is definitely interested in you. And I feel like they're, they're, it's, there's no hiding it. They're going to be completely honest. Um, it's very much giving me the energy of like, you know, when you are kind of starstruck, that's the type of energy it's giving me. There is a quality about you that really captivates them. And they're genuinely interested in getting to know you better. Queen of Wands, future actions, they're definitely going to show you through actions that they definitely want you and that they are interested in you, Libra. In regards to your past flame, we have here the full card. In regards to how they or how they feel about you, sorry. Uh, the full card does indicate, you know, knowing and understanding that they played their cards wrong. They know that they effed up. Um, they're aware of that, but in regards to why they feel this way, the seven of wands, you could have recently blocked them or you could have recently removed communication from them. If this is a person you've been going back with, back and forth with, I feel like you have to be consistent in the, like if you recently blocked them or you recently told them to fuck off and you're not dealing with them, 
you have to be consistent with that because there could be a habit here or there could be some type of cycle that continues to happen where you block them, then you unblock them, then you bring them back, that type of energy. And they're telling you, you outgrown this energy already. Yeah, judgment is making the decision and realizing like it's better off this way. We need to stick to not communicating or not dealing with each other. I feel you guys are holding each other back. So if you are dealing with someone that has that tendency where you guys keep going back with each other. Uh, this time around, they're telling you, you have to choose yourself, Libra. At this point in time, you got to choose your peace of mind, my loves. And there is no change here in this person. So keep it pushing. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Let's see what's going on with Scorpios. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. All right, here we go, Scorpio. We have here the chariot in how they see you. They're definitely wanting to pursue this connection. I feel like in the past, maybe you, they weren't going as quickly as you would want, Scorpio. But I see them really like being triggered. And I feel like they're being triggered this coming full moon where they're going to, it's almost like having an aha moment and they're like, Scorpio's who I want. And they're going to proactively show you through actions that they want you in their life, uh, how they, or why they feel this way, how they feel about you. We have here the Knight of Cups. They're realizing that um, maybe they thought that they didn't really have feelings for you, Scorpio. And it turns out, um, yeah, they do. <laughs> they do have feelings for you. Uh, and it's worth, um, it's worth embracing. Now, for others of you, in regards to their future actions, we have the Devil card. So the Devil could be very Satorian energy. Obviously, it's a representation of Capricorn. For some of you guys, you're dealing with the Cancer. Others, a, another water energy could be a... Pisces energy because we do have the devil card here and Saturn is in Pisces. So uh, for some of you guys, it could be that this person finally decides to uh, go all in uh, in regards to this connection. The devil card also does indicate very much, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Physical connection, if you know what I mean. Um, so I feel like if you guys haven't took it to that point, I feel that there is going to be a situation that arises sometime the end of this month, the beginning of March, where you guys completely give in to temptation and you guys realize that you guys are very, very connected in the physical aspect as well. Moving on in regards to your old flame, we have the two of cups, so they are definitely still interested in you. They still haven't moved on from you, Scorpio. No surprise there, right? Uh, in regards to why they feel this way, three of pentacles, they could have recently found out that you were dealing with someone, or they may be thinking that you are currently dealing with someone. And there is some type of fear, some type of trigger there of completely losing you. That could be the reason why they're realizing uh, that letting you go or that letting you be single was not the smartest move. Why nine of pentacles is here. Nine of pentacles is getting to the point of being willing to embrace your singlehood or having fun. If you've recently started going out or started dating, don't be surprised if they recently found out that someone seen you out and about having a good time and they went back and told them because I feel them in their feelings about uh, letting go of Scorpio was not a good idea because they might not last uh, single for very long. So I do see them coming back around. The good thing in this scenario is that I do see that there is genuine feelings there. So the ball is in your court, Scorpio. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. See what's going on with Sagis. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. All right, here we go, Sagittarius. In regards to how they see you, we have the Four of Swords. If you guys were dealing with someone and recently there's no communication or they just fell off, uh, fell off the map. Um, yeah, it's definitely intentional. Let's see why. We have the magician here and how they feel about you. So 
I feel like you guys have been dealing or were dealing with a person that was a sweet talker, a person that really sold you a dream, <laughs> really was, you know, that, that energy of too good to be true. Well, guess what? It turned out to be that it's, it is too good to be true. I feel like this person was definitely, um, definitely not looking for any type of commitment. So if you make that point across or if you've made it, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you made it clear that you were looking for some type of relationship. I feel like that could have been what scared them off. And the reason for it is because this person is a bit of a commitment phobe or they're just not mentally in a space to be able to provide or give a serious type of, you know, monogamous relationship. Now, in regards to their future actions, I do see the Ace of Pentacles. I do see communication happening or opening up, but I feel like it's going to be a little bit longer than you expected, um, Sagittarius. So my advice is don't put yourself on a shelf. Don't wait for anyone to figure out what it is that they want or to figure out that it's you who they want. You know, because when we do that and put ourselves in the sidelines, they're going about their life and they're continuing to live their life. And then they come back around and expect you to receive them with open arms. So the advice here is, um, yeah, if there's no communication or no contact, keep it pushing. Don't hold your breath for them. Don't stop your life, you know, for them. Um, like I said, don't wait for someone to decide that it's you who they want. All right. In regards to old flame, we have here the king of cups. So this person is definitely still having feelings for you. They're still not completely over you. Um, the reason for this 10 of pentacles, I feel like they seen you, they seen you Sagittarius as the person that they wanted to marry or the person they wanted to build something with. Um, not sure what brought about this separation or this breakup, but I feel like this person is realizing that perhaps you were the one person that triggered them to actually think of the future. Um, in regards to their future actions, the Knight of cups. So I feel for some of you Sagittarians, I feel an ex is coming back around and they're going to be completely honest and transparent to you about how they feel, about how they felt losing you and where they're at right now and what they want from this connection, because I feel like they're waiting or hoping for some type of reconciliation. So the ball is in your court, Sagittarius. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Last but not least, right? Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. Also hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified when we go live. We're going to be um, being more proactive on lives as well. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Here we go, Capricorn. All right, in regards to how they see you, three of cups, I feel that they're really being drawn to your energy, Capricorn, because you are fun. <laughs> or you could be dealing with someone that definitely knows that you're serious and maybe you come off a bit standoffish with certain people, but th there's your energy is just drawing them to you. There is definitely a desire. Um, there's definitely a desire of like getting to know you more. And I'm going to be honest for some of you Capricorns out there, if you recently started dealing with someone and it was just for fun, meaning one night stands or anything physical, do not be surprised if this turns into something serious. Why? Because Knight of Pentacles is here when it comes to how they feel about you. So it could have been a situation that started off as fun, all fun and games until shit gets real. Um, Knight of Pentacles is an indication that progressively they start to grow feelings for you out of the blue. Like they weren't expecting that type of connection. So it could have been something that started off casual uh, not that deep, not that serious. And then they're like, guess what? Capricorn, um, I have feelings for you. <laughs> uh, so again, if you have been dealing with someone, maybe you've had someone on the sidelines for casual, 
uh, don't be surprised if they communicate to you that they are starting to have feelings for you. And I wouldn't necessarily write them off Capricorn because you Capricorns do have a tendency of putting people in categories. Um, but I feel like this connection is going to be what you guys were not expecting. So it's definitely something that it just happens. Um, now in regards to their future actions, King of Wands, they're being honest, they're being transparent and they're telling you, Hey, you know what Capricorn, guess what? It was all fun and games. And yes, I desire you. Yes. You know, um, we're great physically, but also I would like to know you better. Uh, King of Wands is definitely a proactive type of energy. Someone that is, you know, even if you tell them, like, even if you don't see them like that, they're going to be like, trust me, give me an opportunity and I will show you, I will prove to you. Uh, because definitely King of Wands does not sit back. They are ready to rumble and to show you. All right. In regards to your old flame, we have the judgment card. So the judgment card could represent a decision that recently came about. Um, Page of Cups here in how they feel about you. They are. Okay. So what I'm hearing is there is an aha moment that they are currently going through or that they're currently dealing with. Um, could be that life just, you know, got complicated and they realized that they, that you were kind of their emotional support. Um, and that's where that aha moment comes in, or that's when they realize, damn, I really dropped the ball with Capricorn. I should have really put effort because it's the type of energy that makes me better or that makes me want to be better. Uh, type of energy here and in regards to yeah it's the realization that you were it for them Capricorn um, so their future actions is nine of cups I see them reaching out I see them contacting you're coming back around or trying to come back around and trying to solidify trying to prove to you what I'm hearing is let me prove to you let me prove to you so for some of you guys if you were dealing with someone and you brought it to an end because they weren't consistent or because they weren't about it um I see them coming back around here's an advice because I'm hearing if you're waiting for them to realize let your absence be louder um than your words or your actions, because they're showing me almost like when you send a long ass text to try to like get through their head, that doesn't work. It hasn't worked. Let that go. Don't reach out anymore. Show them your absence. That's going to weigh very heavy on them. And they're going to come back around and be willing to fight for you, Capricorn. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Happy Valentine's to all of you guys out there. And like I said, for those of you guys that are single, I hope you treated yourself and enjoyed yourself as well because self-love is important. I will see you guys soon. Until then, you guys have an awesome day. Bye.